Hello everyone, JR10 Desert Gold. A couple of days ago I was tagged by eBomi on what my favorite knives or knife or what knives mean the most or have a meaning for you. Um, as a matter of full dis disclosure I'm gonna say that uh, I have never really been a knife guy. I, I know very little about them and um, do not want to, you know, uh, how should I say it, embarrass myself with my lack of knowledge on the topic, but uh, I will do the best I can. Um, almost all of these uh, I won't have specs on because I bought them for specific reasons. Um, the uh, first knife I bought was uh, this Cold Steel um, Spartan. And those of you who know me, uh, I'm a big Spartan fan. While this isn't really uh, knife shaped like a true Spartan blade, it's still a very cool knife. It's a, uh, I think it's an AUS 80 or 8 uh, steel. It's got a triplet locking mechanism. It really is a stout knife I mean you can you get a full purchase on on the handle and you can actually chop wood with this thing um, there's videos on YouTube of guys chopping two by fours with this thing it it is a very sharp and hard steel the grip on it also provides a less than lethal fighting end um, should you uh, choose to take advantage of that uh, I do like this knife because it just feels good in the hand and you can see that it's definitely a sporty looking piece I also uh, around that time picked up a spider co I love spider co's they they come from the factory just razor sharp it uh, has a nice pivot and re really uh, easy to deploy again this fits nicely in the hand I don't recall it being all that expensive either so that was probably one of the uh, reasons that sold me on it further on down the line I uh, decided to get a good EDC knife uh, UPS on the way on <laughs> uh, good uh, EDC knife this is the zero tolerance hinderer slicer with a um, carbon finish the back is a titanium the blade is a what is this one a bowler m390 or 380 I can't remember the steel it's uh, eight and a quarter inches when fully opened or deployed awesome awesome knife it's got the uh, stone wash finish on the blade which makes it kind of look pretty cool again guys uh, I don't want to embarrass myself I'm just uh, throwing these things out uh, to show some of the uh, knives that have crossed my path this one 
I keep in the garage right up right up above me here. Um, this was actually a prize that I won on a giveaway. And to be honest, I forgot the channel that I got this from. Um, when I won the this knife, I was uh, following the channel and um, I'm going to speak out about something that kind of gripes me a little bit. You know, uh, some of these channels, uh, they get so big that the person or persons tend to lose track of their subscribers and don't um, either respond to comments or respond to questions. And if after a few times of that happening, um, it gets to be old. I just figure, well, if the person hasn't got time for the people that are supporting his channel, then I don't have time for them, whether or not uh, I win a prize for them or not. There's more to it than giving stuff away and then, you know, not following through with your, your subscribers. And I try to, to the best of my ability, respond to everybody that's not a troll. Well, sometimes I actually respond to trolls because they're fun to fight with. I mean, they just, they're entertaining. But this was a, a tech assault knife. Um, tech assault is not a expensive knife. Uh, it's a rubberized uh, handle. I'm not even sure if it's a full tang or not. I can't tell. But uh, I mean if this knife is over 40 or $50 I'd be very surprised. I doubt that it is. So that would lead me to believe that the uh, um, steel isn't going to be that robust. Also uh, this is probably the one that means the most. Uh, it's just a standard uh, bayonet for an AK-47. Um, the thing that makes it special was that uh, at the time I was uh, uh, in a throwdown with uh, Ebomi on, on AK-47s. You know, I kept seeing that gorgeous red AK that he's got on his brewery views and and uh, I decided to uh, dress mine up a little bit and I knew that it was going to have to be completely different because mine has a uh, a slide fire stock on it so it's not wood and in fact the only wood on it was the, the four handle so I did a a camo finish on it and while I was doing it, I decided to do the bayonet. And I think that the thing that makes this all so cool is the fact that this is the very first camo paint that I've ever attempted. And it turned out really, in my opinion, I like it. I mean, it's just a, it worked out well uh, for something that uh, I'd never done before. Um, finally, in an unrelated area, my other passion obviously is cooking and uh, you don't always have to have tactical knives sometimes you need nice utensils for things that bring other joys into your life and uh, this is one of them this is a Damascus Japanese chef knife and I'm not sure that the lights gonna pick up the the finish but you can see there's the foldings in the steel that make up a Damascus finish. So if I get that in there. Yeah, it's hard to. Yeah. But anyway, very nice. I would tell you more about it, but doggone it, everything on this knife is in Japanese and I do not read Japanese or understand it, so uh 
just know that it's very sharp and it uh, is a very nice knife to use when you're carving and finally uh, I thought I'd close out uh, making this a twofer Ebomi also did a, another video on what was your favorite revolver and again I'm I'm at, lo at loss to be an expert on revolvers because I've only got one and those of you that seen my earlier videos know that it's a 454 Casule Super Red Hawk and the way I look at it if uh, you have to have just one revolver I don't think you're gonna go wrong with a Super Red Hawk 454 Casule oh and you'll notice there are no pussy ports on this uh, barrel this one likes to kick like a mule that just got prodded telling you this thing this will wake you up but that's my uh, revolver edition and to be honest after seeing some of the revolvers on Eric's channel I'm gonna start uh, getting into them uh, I'm gonna start looking at you know some of the birdies and classics that uh, I just never got around to because I was always into semi so so much that uh, I never got the time for it. So anyway, this is this is my uh, knife and gun rendition, and uh, I think they're not bad. I mean, they're they're nice knives. Uh, uh, they do what they're supposed to do. I'm not, like I said, an expert, and I don't have any collectibles in that area. Um, you carry one for EDC and keep one handy for large situations, and you're, you know, that that that's all I think I need. Anyway, uh, I rambled on enough. Uh, uh, obviously you can tell my lack of knowledge on the subject but uh, I wanted to get this out for Eric and uh, and let you guys know that I do have a couple but nothing close to it I'm sure you guys have anyway I'm gonna close this off and uh, we'll hope everybody has a awesome Monday and everybody have fun be safe JR10 Desert Gold out